the transformation of butterflies. The focus verse is, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. Have you ever seen a caterpillar transform into a butterfly? Have you watched this process? This transformation can easily be seen as what happens when we leave our past full of sin and become a new person in Christ. We are going to take a look at this significant change, everyone. So all this is a metaphor. So a metaphor is a thing regarded as a symbol of something else. So we are symbolizing the caterpillars change into the butterfly to living from living in sin to living with Christ and for Christ. So these are, we're comparing the two. Are you ready to compare the two? When we live in sin, we are like caterpillars feeding on whatever they want. Look at that caterpillar, guys, just eating and eating. So when we do that, when we live in sin, we're kind of like just eating away at just whatever. We don't care about what God thinks. We don't care. We don't care about consequences. We don't care about other people's feelings. And it hurts us and it hurts God and it hurts people around us when we live for live in sin. But so the caterpillar equals living in sin. However, both are called for more. God calls us out of that. God calls us to change. It's so beautiful. Just like he calls the caterpillar to change. When we say sorry and go into the water with baptism, it's similar to the caterpillar going into its cocoon. Then the change happens. Everything starts to change. This caterpillar becomes not even a caterpillar. It's very interesting. So that chrysalis is a symbol of repenting and baptism. You see that that picture right there? That's very interesting. So this can be challenging. It can hurt. It can be painful. But see, something great ends up happening. With the Lord, we change from the inside and out, resembling the caterpillar. See, this insect even gets a new name, just like us. Do you know that new name? Can anybody raise your hand to, to tell me what that new name is? Speak it out loud. If you know it, we get a new name. Yes, our new name is Jesus. Yay. So the butterfly is like living for Christ. You're free flying around. Check out those butterflies. Look out. Wouldn't you rather be a butterfly than a caterpillar? That is so neat. They even get a new name, guys. So let's read this again. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove or test what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 to your verse of the week. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. I just want to congratulate you and your family. Your family finished lesson one of the renewing bible course i had so much fun this week i hope you did too i look forward to seeing you guys next week